SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we're going to be talking about home broadband today. Specifically, the company of interest is Comcast. You guys know Xfinity. They also sell mobile service. Anyways, we track what goes on in Big Cable because they are uh, an interesting industry. Uh, they've got some new pressures. And in this article, it highlights some of the things that are going on with the company. Some of you might be subscribers to Comcast services. And of course, just the broader scope of Big Cable and home ISP. So let's discuss the items from this article. I'll be sure to link it for you. They'll be in the description. And don't forget if you want to support the SMT and show your appreciation for all the content here on the channel, there's ways, links that are in the description to support us. All right, so the quote here from the CEO, Brian Roberts, uh, we are competing really well in broadband. Uh, so kind of the vibes at the most recent earnings conference at Goldman Sachs. Uh, the CEO, Brian Roberts, said, you know, we're in a competitive business and our team is competing really well. So the one thing I want to state here is this is coming off a quarter where Comcast lost like 10 or 20,000 home ISP customers. Uh, they've been shedding TV customers, pay TV as well. All right, at an accelerated pace. So all this kind of coming together, kind of questioning what he means by this in terms of competing really well. Uh, one of the things that he might be highlighting is the fact that their average revenue per user, right, the the profitability, the margins for them have grown 4.5% in the first half of the year. Now, they, they're probably anticipating that to continue to trend up, uh, specifically with Comcast. Uh, the historical rate range falling between 3 to 4% means that they've gone above and beyond that. Uh, now, with respect to usage, right, the home user, the home ISP customer, uh, he says that the reason why profits are increasing is because broadband usage has almost doubled in the last couple of years. So he's probably speaking specifically, you know, to like post-pandemic time. Uh, the average nonlinear video customer uses 700 gigs of data per month, according to, to their data. Uh, that number is probably going to continue to increase, right, guys? I mean, I I see a world where we continue to rely on the connectivity, especially with smart homes and people working from home as well and, you know, all those different types of use cases. Uh, but he did say that, you know, you got people over the last handful of years connecting more and more devices to their home networks and that, you know, that number is going to increase. Uh, but he did mention something interesting. He said, Broadband will, quote, reinvent, reinvent itself. Uh, and this is all before the, the AI boom that's coming and all those things. Now, I, I can tell you guys right now, it's, it's very important that Comcast focuses on margins and ARPU as they're about to dump a ton of money into their network with Doxus 4.0 upgrades. Right, so, you know, in order to, to compete with the likes of fiber providers who are able to offer some metrical speeds of gigabit you know, 1,000 megabits per second or better, you know, they're going to be trying to do the same thing. Now, their connections, I don't know if it's going to be symmetrical, right? It's going to be, you know, bi-directional. So the, the downlink will be like up to 10 gigs with Doxus 4.0. I'm not sure what their uplink will be. I know what the theoretical could be, but obviously getting up to at least a gig uplink should be more than achievable. And that's going to be happening in phases in certain markets. And it's going to take a little bit of time. But within the next few years, I think a majority of the Comcast footprint will have those types of fiber-like experiences. It's going to really make people step up because of usage, and especially with Uplink, right? There are some customers who likely don't choose cable, especially gamers, right, because of that. And the most important thing is that the connection remains reliable, uh, remains you know, uh, always up, you know, and never coming down and, and being out of business. And uh, another area of growth for them is small business, medium business, enterprise customers. And he also mentioned international customers. So that's that's interesting. So you have like three areas discussed in this article. You know, the, the continued growth in small, medium, and enterprise customers, which is a really solid margin game. You have their network upgrades that are ongoing, which are exciting and some people should be thrilled about as Doxis 4.0 brings the cable experience to a level that competes with fiber. And then, of course, with uh, with the profits and the margins 
really the highlight of their company. And I know a lot of people, you know, are really taking to fixed wireless access, but unless the fixed wireless is over millimeter wave, it's going to be hard to compete with this type of performance. Anyways, tell me if you guys agree. You know, the quote here, Comcast is competing really well on broadband with respect to what? You know, I, I think that's that's really what it is. Competing, are they improving the network? Yeah, that's coming. That's going to require a big investment and take several years. You know, are they doing better in small business, medium-sized business enterprise? It looks like that's an area where they can continue to grow. Uh, the margins are continuing to grow as well, but they're not adding customers. Fixed wireless seems to be doing that because of cost. So I'm not sure, you know, uh, outside of the margins, what they're really you know, competing really well in. All right. So what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT nation. Let your voice be heard.